ex-KGB spy Yuri Bezmanov became well known for defecting from Russia in 1970 and revealing their sinister tactics. The KGB's goal was to change Americans' perception of reality to such an extent that they would no longer be able to see the truth, and would begin to work against their own interests in order to achieve Russia's communist vision. This brainwashing process was largely done, Bezmanov explained, at universities, where students were exposed to the ideology of Marxism and Leninism without being countered by the benefits of Americanism. Bezmanov's revelations, as nightmarish as they are, have only proven themselves to be truer as time has progressed. Our institutions of higher education have indeed become little more than propaganda mills for the left's agenda. From Fox News, a new study found that 39% of top-tier liberal arts colleges in the United States don't have any Republicans on their faculties. The study by the National Association of Scholars also found that the Democrat-to-Republican ratio was 10.4, one among 8,688 ph. D. Holding professors. Unsurprisingly, it's frivolous fields like women's studies and sociology that fail to draw few, if any, Republican professors to teach them. The reason for this disparity may lie in the old idiom, those who can, do. Those who can't, teach. Liberals graduate at a much higher rate with degrees that they can't use in the real world. Once they graduate and realize their degrees are worthless, they turn around and teach these useless courses to a new generation of students, indoctrinating them with communist ideals that do nothing but undermine our republic. In fact, colleges have been caught bragging about their efforts to stop both Republican professors and students from being admitted. By keeping conservatives out of universities, these liberal elites ensure that their propaganda isn't watered down. They're carrying out the same insidious tactics of psychological warfare that Yuri Bezmanov revealed in interviews to slowly erode America's political system. These statistics are sure to give some parents second thoughts as to whether or not they should send their children to college, considering how blatant and dangerous the liberal bias is. Is this the sort of education you want your children or grandchildren to have? Source, Fox News.